Okay, so today we're taping for an inversion ankle sprain. I'm going to put pre-wrap on. It doesn't really matter how you put it on. I like to not get too many wrinkles and make sure you go all the way up to the belly of the calf, which you can see here. So our first two strips need to go on the hair or on the skin. And those are going to be your anchors for the medial to lateral heel locks. So you have three of these. You want to pull them nice and tight to lock them in eversion. So we're trying to prevent inversion. I like to fan these out at the top to keep it on the heel. And then you're going to re-anchor. And notice when I'm doing the anchors, I'm angling downward in order to make it nice and smooth to where they don't get any blisters. The tape should go halfway on the last strip of tape where I don't see any of the pre-wrap and it's going to stay on the athlete a lot better as they're playing on it. And as I get towards the bottom, I'm angling up, once again, to prevent the blisters on the back of the Achilles. I don't use heel and lace pads. You can if you want. I don't think they're necessary if you do a good tape job. So make sure your athlete stays at 90. This is a heel lock on the medial side. I come over the top, do a heel lock on the lateral side, and that's a continuous heel lock. If you want to see an individual heel lock, I'm angling towards the heel. Lock in the medial side, bringing it up, back on the heel, and up, that's a lateral heel lock. And then you can do one to two figure eights, figure eight goes medial to lateral. So I'll do two so you can see another one. So I'm bringing it, locking him in eversion once again. And now we finish with an arch strip which should go lateral to medial. And that's an inversion ankle tape job.